Thank you, Dr. Patterson, for that insight into Eastern New Guinea tribal customs. <laughs> and join us next week on Vermont Today. And we're clear. Super show, Dr. Patterson. You'll be back real soon. Make plans. <laughs> Let's take her card right out of the Rolodex. I, th I thought you liked the show. Well, I wish you'd downplay that cannibalism thing and push the vacation getaway angle. Well, I think people should know if their vacations are going to be one way. Dick, uh, are you going to be hanging around for a while? Yeah, Joanna's meeting me here, and then we're going for dinner. What, why? Wade Northlander's here eyeballing the place. Who's Wade Northlander? El Capitan of industry. <laughs> He's been buying up small-time operations like this and, and really turning them around. I think you two should meet. Well, is, is he going to buy this station? Doubtful. <laughs> but he might spot some talent that's ready to move on to one of his bigger markets, like Boston. Well, I, I don't think I want to leave Vermont. Actually, I was referring to me. <laughs> Uh-oh, here he comes. Load me in the catapult. Next stop, Beantown. <laughs> Michael, transmitting tower looks okay, but I think that the law requires that you have a real beacon up there. Not a flashlight. <laughs> Did I tell you he was sharp? <laughs> Wait, I'd like you to meet Dick Loudon. Yes, I caught some of your show. You're a very solid interviewer. Thank you. <laughs> Michael, would you uh, get me an inventory of the station's equipment? I'll have to burn some midnight oil, but no news there. Hi, honey. Oh, hi. hi, Michael. I'm ready. Can we sneak out early like last week? <laughs> Cupcake, you know, I'm always here late into the night, nose to the grindstone. Right, Dick? Yeah, that's what keeps it from growing. <laughs> Wait, uh, this is Dick's lovely wife, Joanna, and my own personal Wonder Woman, Stephanie. Hello. Ladies, this is Wade Northlander, an antitrust suit waiting to happen. <laughs> nice to meet you. Pleasure. Michael, I'm going to use your phone, the one of my briefcases on the blink. Oh, I hate when that happens. <laughs> Lamp chop, spit in my face and call me cootie. I can't make our date. Death in the family? Much more important, career move. This is a man who owns stations in places that have mass transit. <laughs> if things go well, I'll have more money to throw away on you than ever. You can sweet talk me out of anything. We'll do it tomorrow. That's a double cross the heart promise. Okay. Well, then I guess I'm free to tag along with you guys. Oh, boy. <laughs> Well, I'm going to take off. Can anybody recommend a nice place to eat? Oh, the Hanover Inn is excellent. It's kind of expensive. I'll give it a try. Dining alone, I won't hear of it. I insist they join you. Oh, great. It's on me. No, 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 no. The station won't hear of it. Dick Street. <laughs> well, thanks, Dick. Shall we go? Now, look at it this way, Dick. If you spend the whole evening talking about me, you can write it off as a business expense. <laughs> Company, three's a blank. Five letters. How's, how's the crossword puzzle coming, George? Slow. <laughs> but this is one time I'm not going to give up. Two's company, three's a blank. Three's a blank, 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 blank. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> George, it's a famous saying. Two's company, three's a... Bunch! <laughs> Can't fit, thanks. Uh, but uh, no more hints after this, okay? But George... Honey, he wants to do it himself. <laughs> Opposite of poor, four letters. <laughs> Opposite of poor, rich. <laughs> nah, that's too easy. <laughs> Must be a trick. I wonder what's keeping Stephanie and Wade. Honey, I'm, I'm sure it's nothing to be worried about. I'm not worried. It's just that they said they wanted to stay and have dessert. That was two hours ago. Well, I'm sure they only hung around to... See what the busboys look like in their street clothes. That must be it. Hi-ho. 
step still up or do I have to go upstairs and wake her? He said with a lascivious wink. Uh, she's... She's not up there. Well, point the way. I bought a little peace offering for standing her up tonight. Donuts. You're gonna spoil her. Is she in the kitchen? Not, uh, not, not really. Well, I'm stumped. <laughs> she's, she's still at, at the, at the restaurant with, with Wade. What? They decided to stay for dessert. When was this? Oh, uh, 45 minutes. Maybe two hours ago. <laughs> I can't believe I brought these donuts over Now, here. Michael, That don't... lady deserves eclairs. She does? I never even had to tell her to cozy up to Wade. She, she just knew. <laughs> it's like the day we were both walking through the housewares department at Hanson's, and we both went bonkers over the same shrimp forks. I mean, are our souls super glued together, or what? Well, it sure sounds like it. <laughs> well, I'd better hit the road. Don't just hand these to her. Make kind of a production out of it. <laughs> You're going to have to do the production without me because I'm going to bed. Because if I don't, I'm going to eat one of those. <laughs> Good night, honey. Good night. <clears throat> Let's see. Expression of extreme anxiety. Eight letters. Oh, I got that one. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah, that's what people say when they're upset. George, George it's, it's an eight-letter word. Holy cow is, is only seven letters. Oh, uh, expression of extreme anxiety. Oh. Holy cows? <laughs> George, have, have you ever heard anyone say that before? No, but I never heard the expression three's a bunch before either. <laughs> it's right there in the puzzle. Good night, George. Oh, well, if you're going to turn in, I might as well take this back to the room. Uh... Six letters describing a pig's foot. Smelly. <laughs> Cloven. 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 It really was a fun evening. You really are a unique girl. I know. <laughs> and it's hard to be that when you have to buy off the rack. <laughs> then I'll see you tomorrow night. Oh, I have a date with Michael. Oh. Then would you be interested in flying with me down to Martha's Vineyard for the weekend? Oh, I really couldn't get away. First class? <laughs> my own private chat. Oh. I was beginning to think I'd never hear those words again. Then it's a date? No. No. It sounds nice, but... you know, Michael is sort of my steady. I mean, we're not... engaged or anything, but... we do have a very strong... relationship. One time, we both saw these shrimp forks at Hanson's. I'll call you. I'll answer. Dick, I just can't go to bed until I have one of those donuts. Aren't you going to stop me? 
just saw Wade and Stephanie kissing. That did it. <laughs> a serious kiss? Remember the scene in Poltergeist where everything got sucked into the closet? <laughs> was a lot like that. Oh, dear. Maybe you should talk to Michael or Stephanie. No way. Why not? Honey, when I was in college, I saw my roommate's fiance, Susie, go out with another guy, and, and like a fool, I told him. You did the right thing. No, I didn't, because Susie denied everything, and, and my roommate accused me of causing trouble because I, I wanted her for myself. Did you? That, that's not the point. <laughs> The, the point is, they got married anyway, and, and they never forgave me, and, and the guy I saw her with put poison ivy in, in, in my shorts. <laughs> and ever since then, I, I, I made it a, a strict rule that I would never meddle in, in other people's relationships. Honey, that was college. You're in the real world now. Yeah, and, and, and Wade is real powerful and real rich, and he probably owns a whole poison ivy plantation of his own. <laughs> Yes. Never mind. <laughs> Stephanie? What? Could you hand me that bowl? Last night, Wade gave me a kiss so hot it could melt lips, and I gave it right back. <laughs> I didn't mean to pry. <laughs> Life is so unfair. Why couldn't I have met Wade first? Now I have all these stupid feelings for Michael. Okay, come on, let's talk about it. What are your feelings for Michael? Well, when I'm with him, I'm warm, I'm comfortable, I feel loved. And when he crinkles his nose at me, it cracks the pain on my toenails. Okay. What about Wade? Well, when I'm with Wade, he's rich. <laughs> but how do you feel about him? I feel good that he's rich. Oh, well, good night, Dick. If anybody needs me, I'll be at a little place called the Stratford Inn. So you uh, have a date with Stephanie tonight? Yes, I want to show my gratitude for what you did with Wade last night. I, I think the donuts were more than enough. Uh, Michael, Michael, you're not leaving, are you? Oh, well, I'm in this Big Brother program. Oh. <laughs> well, go ahead. I just needed some figures, and I wanted my personnel people in Chicago to see a sample of your work. What the heck? The kid's gone this long without a father. <laughs> uh, what, what, what do you need? Your audience growth projections for the next... Five years. Ouch. <laughs> That'll take most of the night. Thanks. I'll, uh, I'll bring them by your hotel when I'm finished. Don't bother. I think I have a date tonight. All right, wait. <laughs> Break a heart. <laughs> Boy, Dick, I don't envy me. Axing two dates in a row. <laughs> Make room for one more mutt in the doghouse. <laughs> <laughs> Steph! Michael. Bad news. I'm, uh, I'm back on Dawn Patrol. What is it? Well, can't we discuss it now? <laughs> okay. Night, night, bye, bye. Dick, did, uh, did Steph say anything to you today? No, no, why? She says she has something she wants to discuss with me. In person. <laughs> Sounds serious. I mean, when she doesn't respond at night, night, bye, bye. <laughs> oh, maybe it's my imagination. Uh, Michael, I, I have this this very strict rule about never getting involved in, in people's relationships, but uh, I'm going to bend it slightly, just, just this once, and then, then you're on your own. <laughs> I, I really think you ought, to, you ought to see Stephanie tonight. No can do, Dick. <laughs> let, let, let me say one, one more thing. Uh, if you don't see Stephanie tonight, uh, Problems could, could arise. <laughs> Read you, Dick. But I never saw a case with a pouch that dozen long stems couldn't cure. <laughs> but, um, 
I'm, I'm going to bend my rule a, a tiny bit further. <laughs> Stephanie and Wade had, had a, a really good time last night. <laughs> so you're saying since she did me a favor, I... I, sh I saw them kissing. <laughs> Serious kissing. A, a full mouthful kiss. <laughs> Wow. I, I, I'm sorry. What am I going to do? I don't stand a chance against a rich, successful guy like Wade. Michael, you have, you have other things going with Stephanie that, that, that Wade doesn't. Example stick. When, when you went, you went bonkers over the, the, the same shrimp forks. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's all I need, Dick. I'm going to fight for my woman. I'm going to give Wade a verbal thrashing he won't soon forget. And he can just guess about those audience projections. <laughs> I've got an answer here I'm not sure of. Have you ever seen that word before? Nivrictum? <laughs> That's not right, is it? I don't think so. Uh, I'm never going to get this thing done. I'm just going to give up. Oh, George. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but what I mean is sometimes it helps to put things aside for a little while. Like for a couple of days? Or even longer. <laughs> Oh, hi. Can I help you? Yes, I'm here to see Stephanie. For what? <laughs> I'm taking her out. But that's what Michael does. <laughs> Michael's working. Oh, I'll tell her you're here. Thank you. Stephanie, your date's here and it isn't Michael. Uh, listen, no offense, but as the saying goes, two's company, three's a crowd. It does? <laughs> two's company, three's a crowd? Hey, Joanne, I guess what? Hi, Wade. Stephanie, you look terrific. Thank you. No, I mean it. The hair, the dress, the necklace. Look, Wade, I know it all works. <laughs> Something wrong? I'm sorry. I've just been having a nervous breakdown. I uh, made a difficult decision, and I think we should talk. Can it wait? If we don't leave right now, we won't make our reservations at Lutess. Lutess? That's in New York. Only 55 minutes away, via air Northlander. Oh. Oh, but wait. <laughs> Couldn't we just sit down for a minute? How about in the limo? It's right outside. A limo? A silver stretch. <laughs> but really, wait. Champagne's chilling. And there's a full moon up above those clouds. <laughs> this is wrong. <laughs> You, I don't care how long that limo is. 20 feet. Just stop it! <laughs> Look, whatever was between us is over. Are you serious? What about last night? Last night I was caught up in the moment. The words private jet always make me lightheaded. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sure someday you'll meet another perfect girl. <laughs> Northlander. Michael! Hi, Steph. Great dress. <laughs> Listen, Northlander, Dick just filled me in on your sneaky little scheme, and I'm seriously miffed. <laughs> are you? You are nothing but a high-living lowlife, and I never want to see you again. Unless, of course, it's in a professional capacity, in which case I'd be honored to work by your side. <laughs> oh, the hell with it. Listen, Northlander, I want you to keep away from my girl. That is if you 
Still are, my girl. I certainly am. All right. <laughs> Your information, Stephanie, was about ready to break it off with me when you barged in. Oh? You mean I just shot my career in the foot for nothing? Bingo. <laughs> well, who cares? I wouldn't work with you now, even if the possibility of a job still existed, which it definitely does not, right? <laughs> Right. Good. Take a hike, Northlander. I never hike. I limo. <laughs> and I wing. <laughs> that man could have given me everything I ever wanted. Me too. <laughs> career for me. Needlessly. You chose me over a millionaire. How come? Well, I kept picturing myself in Wade's yacht, Wade's limo, Wade's jet. Then I looked perfect. <laughs> but it was always you sitting next to me. I'm misting up here. <laughs> I guess when you come right down to it, Money and power aren't as important as love. Besides, someday you'll be just as rich as Wade. Right? With you by my side, I'd better. <laughs>